Hey YouTube, it's Mika, Mika the Lipstick Junkie, and welcome back to my channel. So today, this video is my review on the Slay Light J Edge Control, and I believe this is by, I think her name is Jada Amore, or Jada Wada, I'm, I'm not sure what's her official like name or whatever. It's the Slay Light J Edge Control, and I got this for $10 for free shipping on her website. I'm pretty sure if you Google her name, you guys find her website, and I'm pretty sure that if you're watching this, you probably know more about her than I do. I'm just now recently just uh, figuring out who she was and that she sells hair and whatnot. But this is my first um, product from her line I've ever tried. So like I said, you guys probably know more about her than me if you're watching this video. So I'm just going to tell y'all how I felt about this edge show and how it worked for me. So if you want to see my um, mini review on that, stay tuned. So you guys, um, background, I have 4C natural hair. Like this is obviously a sew-in, but you see my edges left out. I have 4C natural hair and it's hard for me and it um after, after I went natural there is no edge control I've ever found that can hold my edges so the only thing that has ever um held my edges has been eco style gel mixed with um gorilla snot and then I even after then I have to tie my hair down with a satin scarf and lay it for a couple of minutes for that to even lay down and potentially last a couple hours throughout the day nothing lasts no edge control or gel has ever lasted on my hair you know all all day I have to use other methods so I'm like oh okay my friend told me you know hey girl the Jada girls having to sell on her edge control you should get it you should get it everybody everybody they love it or whatever so I'm like okay babe, let me go see so with my natural 4c hair of course I was hesitant of course I'm like I don't think it's gonna work I don't think it's gonna work but I bought it anyway and I got it and let's see this is how much I've used of it not a lot so it smells like it smells like a regular, it smells like a um, cottony, cottony kind of smell hair product. So it smells good. So, y'all, like it says, use um, like an ample amount and spread it evenly. And I did do that on my hair. And by itself, it, it held for maybe an hour. It didn't hold my hair for long at all. And then when it set throughout the day, and I've never had this happen with any edge control, edge control that I've used, but throughout the day when you let it just, when it's been sitting on my hair and then it didn't hold and it started to get kind of melt, it left my edges so dirty. Like it left gunk on my edges. It left gunk on my hair. It made my hair feel, it made my hair look so dirty and I had to like clean off my edges afterwards. I was just like, yeah, okay, that sucked. That was my first time trying it. So then I tried it again and I was like, you know, I'm going to tie my hair down. I tied my hair down and still it didn't last. Like, you know, it's summer. It's summertime. I got 4C natural hair. Like, it just, it just wasn't working, sis. This was just not working, sis. And I used like little amounts and little amounts. I didn't put too much and I used my finger and I even threw on a brush and, you know, a toothbrush and try to smooth it out as well. It just wasn't working, sis. And like I said, I have I didn't gunk it on. I didn't use big old amounts. You can see, I didn't use big old amounts. And I think I've used it a total of three times. It it doesn't hold, man. And it makes my hair, it makes my edges so dirty. Like I've never seen one product after one day have so much build up on your hair. When I use so little of it, it was so gunky. And I'm just like. I'm mad I kind of spent ten dollars on it I'm hurt that I spent ten dollars on it and I don't know what I'm gonna do with it you know like I, I don't I don't know if it's I don't know what to do with it like I, I did spend it and it's a it's a big jar it's, it's a pretty big jar for ten dollars it better be a pretty big jar for ten dollars so I don't know what I want to do with it y'all like maybe I have to use it under a lot of products but even still what if it, it, it made my hair dirty like beyond the fact that it didn't hold my edges which I'm used to stuff not holding my edges I'm used to edge control not holding my edges so I didn't count that too fully against it but then when I seen it my first time using it and hours later it made my hair dirty and crusty and you could see like you could see like pecks of crap building up on my hair and my hair was clean hair like it's just it's a no it's a no y'all so 
I'm telling you, if you have thick, natural, forty hair like me, it didn't work for me. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say it didn't work for you. It's not going to work for you, but it didn't work for me. And it's a hard, it's a hard pass on this. I am probably still going to use it occasionally. Like, if I have, like, a little piece delay, not all this out, but a little piece, I'm going to try and use it. But because I paid for $10, I want to get my money's worth. Slay like Jay. Edge can show just wasn't for me. And that's my honest truth. Guys, thank you for tuning into this video. And, you know, let me know if you have this edge control. Let me know if it worked for you. If it didn't work for you, just, you know, let me know. It's nothing, I don't, it's nothing bad towards the brand, the brand of the product. It's just it didn't work for me. You know, some things don't work for everybody. So, if you do have it, let me know in the comments if it worked for you or if it didn't work for you. And don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you guys. More videos coming. Thank you so much. See y'all later.